All right, today we're working on a GMC Yukano 7 5.3. This is the part number I got for the transmission kit. It has the deep pan and then the full synthetic for the Mercon 4. <clears throat> I'll show you how you tell if it's a deep one. Besides looking at it and telling them that it's pretty freaking deep, it has this step in it. So if you have that step, you have the deep pan. If you don't have that step, yeah. Also, when you go to drop all this fluid out, Chevy dealer wants you to drop your exhaust manifold uh, section here from the manifolds back, which is a headache and not necessary. And the reason for that is there's two solenoids in the back to tell the transmission when to shift. And like on the Jungle website, they'll to sell the transmission kit with those two solenoids because people break them trying to get them out. Um, what you have to do is you get a pry bar here and you pry down this exhaust. It has a little give and you only need like quarter inch, half inch maybe. Pry down there on this exhaust right through here. You'll need someone else to come help you. And then uh, you can drop the pan because it's only like... Like I said, less than a quarter inch. And that's it, drop it. And uh, I'll go ahead and uh, drop the pan. I might uh, videotape how we pry it out, um, this exhaust. But uh, yeah, you just take your bolts out. I think you might have to move uh, this over to the side off this bracket here, because this is sitting in your way. So your choices are to take this clip and move this whole piece and disconnect this cable. Or uh, there's two bolts here on this bracket. And you can slide the bracket and let it just hang out of your way. It's probably the, not necessarily the easiest thing, but um, at least you don't have to, uh, oh, it has those screws. At least you wouldn't have to uh, mess with this too much. Or pull this little clip, slip it out of the way. I'm not sure which way I'll do it. But uh, when we get to the exhaust, I'll explain how I got that part out. All right. So, yeah, to move this uh, bracket out of your way so you can get to the bolts, there are these two. And they're, of course, they're full of crud or whatever, so you got to clean them out a little. And then you use the, um, a T40 to drop it. And now I'll be just be unbolting it all, making a huge mess underneath here. And then when I go to pry, I'll record that. All right, so we pry down on here. And these are the two very delicate solenoids. These ones are like, I don't know why they break so off so easy, but they do. And then they hang from these cables. Um, so yeah, I think they're like 45 bucks each maybe. And I know like the, um, what do you call it? The Amazon silver so with them together because they already know they're going to break them. So, anyway, that. So, we'll probably put those back in. And then there's a seal right here. It's kind of, a, of a, not your friend to get out. So, 93% of the time, I don't even take it out because it works perfectly fine. This is your new filter, right? And all it does is just slip on there. All I do is just push it in. Let's see. There you go, it just pops. And you're done. So, it's not coming out, obviously. And it's in there real good. The thing, the filter's at an angle, I'll show you. So you have to come in kind of not straight at it, but to tilt it. And you just push this in and it pops in. So then the gasket, on the gasket, the holes are a tiny bit smaller. And I'll show you. So what I do, I get some brake clean. And uh, 
clean that all up so it's new. Clean the magnet off. There's a little bit of dust particles or whatever you want to call it from the, not dust, but from the clutch material, very little, normal amount, I would say. And then these will hold your bolts in place. You just screw them in a two turns or something. Of course, a couple of times, some of them will fall out as you tighten them up, but helps you to know that you got them all. And then I also cleaned the 240 Torx. So this is that new seal that you can pry out and fight for like 15 minutes or longer to get out. Every once in a while, maybe I would do it. Maybe every fifth. So I don't know. Twice I've done it. Um, but yeah, I have a drawer full of these that I don't use. And uh, you could tell, I don't know if you could see, it's at a slight angle. I want to call it a 45 or whatever, but here is where this thing is. So you can't do a straight shot. You kind of like swing it in there and it pops in. But anyway, that's pretty much it. I'm gonna go ahead and uh, line this up. Call my buddy over to help me pry it and uh, put it all together and fill it up. Should be good.